to bring you the constant variety of sport, the thrill of victory, and the agony of defeat. The human drama of athletic competition. This is ABC's Wide World of Sports. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the International Space Station. My name is... Is Clayton Anderson, and I am the flight engineer number two, and you are right now on board with me in the Destiny Lab module on board the ISS. You know, sports have been very important to me for my entire life. I've always loved to play football, baseball, basketball, any sport you can think of. And so today, we kind of like to talk to kids a little bit about how sports can be different in space. One of the things we have to talk about is Newton's laws. Anything in space, if we leave it just where it is, it will stay there unless it's acted upon by another force. So that football, theoretically, in zero-G, will stay there forever until somebody acts on it with a force, in which case it will move. And now, as that football goes, it will continue to move that direction until we stop it or give it a force in another direction. So think about that. If you were the field goal kicker on your football team, then you could do this. You could tee up the football, and all by yourself, you could kick that field goal right there. It's good! <laughs> another sport we have is baseball. Now, baseball, a lot of people know, when you're a pitcher, it's based on the curvature of the ball and how it spins. And if a pitcher puts different spins on the ball, it'll move in different directions to fool the batter. But in space, it's not quite the same. As you can see, this ball is spinning, but it's not doing anything. So a batter could come up with his baseball bat, and he could just smack it right out of the park. So let's demonstrate that. now is the batter. I've had time to go back to the dugout, grab my baseball bat, set up in the box, and swing. Oh, looks like it might be a foul ball coming back to me. But let's try that again. Looks like it's a fastball right down the center of the plate. Line shot. Oh, it's out of here. Now my partner, Oleg, just threw a screaming, rising fastball at me. And my bat's kind of floating out of my hand. But as a pitcher, some of you may know that a knuckleball is a pitch that's thrown by a pitcher that doesn't spin at all. And when it doesn't spin and it goes through the airstream, it causes it to move in all different sorts of directions. And that's because of the reaction of the forces in the air and the funny non-spin of the ball. But see, today, I can throw a knuckleball, and it goes straight as an arrow. Look at that. Didn't move a bit. I think it's right there across the plate. Another sport that we like to do on board the station is basketball. Now, many of you may ask the question, well, will sport face can I be a better sports player, or will I be not good? Well, basketball is a great example because, as you know, in basketball, we want to throw the ball through the hoop. And in order to do that on the ground, we need gravity because as we toss the ball into space, gravity will pull it back down through the hoop like that. But in space, you can see it's a little bit of a different challenge. We have our basketball hoop in a different direction. If we put it up this way, 
which probably looks normal to most of you on the ground. It's a little bit hard to throw the ball through the hoop from out here, but we can try. See, the ball goes in a straight line, and we want it to kind of arc down through the hoop. So we have to change our trajectory a little bit and see if we can bank shot the ball into the hole. Oh, yeah, we got her. Of course, the one advantage that being in zero gravity gives us in basketball is we can do the windmill dunk with absolutely no problem. So follow me. Oh, and I missed the cheap shot. Better do that one again. If you ever wanted to be Air Jordan, you can sure be Air Jordan zero G. Because you just fly to the air with the greatest of ease right toward the hoop for that big jam. <laughs> And, of course, just like in the NBA and college, we have a breakaway rim on board. One other cool thing that you can do as a basketball player is you can automatically become a Harlem Globetrotter. You can see, with no effort, I'm spinning the ball on my finger. I'm cheating a little bit. But it makes it very easy. So, as you can see, we can play lots of different sports on board. I'm not much of a soccer player, but you can even do soccer. You have to be careful as you shoot for the goal. Oh! Sometimes it goes down in the hole, and we have to wait for it to come back up. So we can, we can also be a receiver in any sport on board the station. And if the football pass is good, we can score that touchdown. So there you go, sports fans. Zero G is a sportsman's paradise. Just have to change the rules a little bit. So until we see you next time, keep playing sports.